Yeah, which is great. Um, okay, fantastic. Okay, we did that. We need four. We need six more soldiers and generals, I should say. So once these guys get all educated, we should be set. Maybe let's build another garage because I see a couple of people walking too much. And let's build the garage. Oh, let's build it there. All right. Yeah, probably some of you guys want to see like the textures and me zooming in, so I will try to do that as much as I possibly can. Remember, I do have this game completely sped up to the highest amount just to make everything go that much faster. But the game really does look good and I just love how smooth it runs when you zoom in and out. It's just really, really fun to play. So, oh no. Check out this funny article, Presidente. According to a recently published survey, Tropical is the most dangerous place to live during a hypothetical doomsday scenario. While Madagascar is the safest. Yeah, so the mission's called Madagascar or Bust. Interesting. You don't think anyone will take this seriously, do you? Oh no, the Tropicans are so gullible these days. They'll hitch a ride on the first freighter. We have to refute this news, but nobody trusts our current journalists. They're all considered part of a government conspiracy. We'll need some fresh faces and a new TV station. God damn, this mission's actually lasting quite a while. So they're not, these missions aren't gonna be pushovers. So for a TV station, we do need power. But I'm going to probably pour power. Probably I'm just gonna get wind turbines, I think. Um, I don't want a nuclear power plant. We can just have a normal power plant. Actually, that does sound pretty interesting and good. So let's actually just do that. And then let's go media. Oh, we can't even click on it to unlock it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Three the citizens decide to leave Tropico, which is no good. No one seems to be coming in here as well, which sucks. Some people are leaving, blah, blah, blah. Let's build a, another tenement. Another two tenements, I say. I really need those generals. God damn. There we go, we've got some students, finally. Okay, so we're going along rather nicely. Cannot complain. It's probably going to be one of the last couple of missions that we have. Because really, you can't carry on for that long. Freddy exported $12,000. Nice. Some random guy became a rebel as well. No biggie. I don't know if you guys know this, but when once a boat comes in... Smelly, gross yeah, mounds of garbage are everywhere. Okay, we have some, some rednecks worrying about immigration. Let's just check the factions. Factionalists. Um, the greenies do protest quite a bit, so let's just build a garbage disposal facility just to shut them up. Ooh, shippo rant. The hell is a shippo rant? Organic ranch, bio farm. All right, we're up to here. I wonder if this has to go up to all the way to 1975. If it does, it's pretty. That's pretty amazing that this mission would go for so long. President and well, await elections next year. They right. wish to show their ever. Well, we have elections, but we've basically already won. So let's choose religion as a hot issue. Okay, so we get the bonus points from the religious, even though we've basically neglected them. Uh, we'll praise, I think, the USSR, and promise for the next mandate to have a sufficient army. Hopefully, we'll do that. So, let's issue. We should win. As you can see, our votes just jumped up by a whole lot. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The lack of priests, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. 
and it will be resolved, as will all others in time as the global economy stabilizes. The unbreakable friendship and love between Soviets and tropical Americans ensures the dignity of the people for future generations. Our close relationship and common ideals will help us find a way to overcome all challenges. I have great plans for Tropico, plans that will be felt by everyone, even the least fortunate of you. As part of my reform plan for my next mandate, I shall see to it that the size of our army is increased. Let's see if our opponents have the cojones to face our united front. All right, so as you guys heard, President El Presidente made his speech, and we're going to be in the negative just for a couple of seconds while this boat or ship comes along. But we're going to be making about $15,000 right away. Rebel ships being decreased. News, Fantastic. So we have so many new foreign people right now. We have seven generals as well, our soldiers and generals. So that enables us to build a couple of guard stations. So let's just build one up here. And all we need is a high school educated person for that, so all we need is three more anyway, so we should be sweet. Too many shots, are you serious? My dear Presidente, the election day draws near. What does this do? Alright, we can just read that. Oh yes, the environmentalists hate us. Yeah, no, we don't want to vote rig because we've won. All I'm going to do is give the environmentalists what they want which is where would we find it it's probably governments nope welfare and economy no why would have been welfare actually it could be in welfare no I want a um a rubbish dump would this be it like because it's completely new so I don't know with these new buildings because they do replace the old ones commodity of gold increased by 50% and we've unlocked a modern apartment does cost a bit of electricity, but sure does look nice. Let's actually build that. Actually, no, let's not. Because I do need that TV station, so. Education and media, TV station. Pay $8,000 for the blueprints, you bastard. And build it like so. Congratulations! We won the election, fantastic. Following the celebrations of the overwhelming victory over the opposition, El Presidente will depart for the USA to give lectures on free voting, sustainable democracy, and civil society engineering. Switzerland is next on his tour. <laughs> Yay for Switzerland. Um, oh, we're going to be making quite a bit of loss. Quite a loss, I should say. Hopefully we get some other soldier before the panic meter reaches 100. Oh, actually, that means we must have lost someone. Who did we lose in our army? Congratulations on successfully Oh, no. Oh, good. To, all right, finally. All right, we finally got 10 people. So let's just actually lower these guys' pay. You guys can stop working. Um, we have way too many shacks as well, I should mention. So, let's build that apartment block. Actually, we can't right now. It's not really the best of ideas. Alright. So, let's just wait up. What does this end up doing anyway? Oh, okay, so... Let's just enable one person to be hired. Foreign relations do, do deteriorate because of our national deaths as well which is something that I should keep in mind but it's no biggie squats HQ interesting I love all the different things oh and oh we've got a rebel Rebels attack, are launching an attack. Where, where 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 I want I want to show you guys oh that oh it's already dead there's rebel see actually he's a soldier 
All right, because we have our soldiers up here, and the rebels are going to be coming up. Oh, A no. lucrative opportunity has presented itself, Presidente. Half of Tropico is convinced that the end of the world is coming, and, strangely enough, they think the tinfoil hats are the only way to survive it. I propose a radical plan to confirm this and sell tinfoil hats to each and every willing citizen and more expensive aluminium hats for the rich ones, of course. This may escalate the panic somewhat, but will surely turn a tidy profit for both of us. Yeah, let's put them on Madagascar, you bastard. I don't care. Um, we are starting to import way too many people for my liking, so... Just set this to skilled workers, even though it's not going to have any effect whatsoever because we have no one working there. Rebels have been repelled, blah blah blah. Are you a rebel? Are you tired of El Presidente's army beating you left, right, and center? You need bigger guns, and we are selling. If you call in the next five minutes, you will also receive a patriotic flag and a free detonator. Okay, so let's just get that prison rolling. What the hell just happened? I think it, the game is loading or saving. Was that the save? I don't know how, why that little loading screen comes up just randomly. It's probably auto save. And we've unlocked the bio farm. So let's just check that out. Food and resources, the bio farm. Interesting. Oh, wow. These farms look really interesting. Uh, let's put that over here then. Wow, this is huge. And it only hires four people. So it's a bit more efficient, the productivity is a lot higher. Probably get a bit more bang for your buck as well, because you produce a lot more and with less people. Which is always nice. Oh what no, not her wonderful again. wonderful new prison you have constructed, Presidente. Simply marvellous. Let's see if I can fill it for you. Take your convict somewhere else, you bitch. I don't care. How many missions do they want to give us though? Far out. Well that's four. That's we'd have eight prisoners. Wow man, that's crazy. Alright. Here's a bio farm. It's already built. So this guy's probably seeding the Well, he doesn't really need to seed anything, he's just gonna grow up automatically. If we wait long enough. Ship is docked, bring a couple new immigrants. See how school's going, how's our college going, seems to be going well. We seem to be well powered. The whole city seems to be well powered, I should mention. And well, while we have the money, let's actually build this massive house. Because they do suggest us to build a tenement. So, housing this. Blueprint con Oh, blueprint costs can be reduced by the Academy of Sciences. I never knew that. And let oh, it's got a helipad as well. Very spiffy, I must say. Spill it right there. That is a heck of a lot of tenements or tenants that we can have. Sunny, please stop. No more real organic food. Shut up. President say something extraordinary happened. Our Minister of Foreign Affairs managed to solve the practically unsolvable New York Times crossword puzzle. The international diplomatic community is in awe of our minister's intelligence and as a result has decided to increase their support for our nation. Effect, you will receive double foreign aid for the next year. Fantastic. This is one long mission as well. It's going to take like an hour or so. Wow. You'd think like the first mission would be quite hard. I'm rather impressed by how long it's taking. Maybe it's just me that's just really bad. And, you know. Oh, we are making quite a bit of a loss but that's because we wasted all that money on a tenement or I should say modern apartment block you know you've got to be hipster these days you know you already got new people we can upgrade as well a bit of climate control and a dormant kiosk which the building does not create crime interesting and wow did that fill up fast or what wow charge me a bit more rent then We need proper healthcare, healthcare facilities. Man. Oh no. This time I am not giving you a choice, Presidente. 
A prison ship full of convicted criminals is en route to your island. All right, well, I'm going to have to accept them, aren't I? Oh, that was a nice little boost, I have to say. They're still filling up. We'll just wait. Right, let's put it on seven. We're making a fair amount of money now. It's still coming in nice. This is how you run a profitable Caribbean corrupted country. Um, do we have we captured? No, we have not captured all these guys. Where's the police station? It's oh god, like what's left? Stuck in a vicious spiral, Presidente. Okay, except we've got 17 criminals. So all we got to do is now view and eliminate. Yes. Oh, oh no. Foreign no, no. leader, the mighty Chinese. No me interesa. And kill them. All we do is high hit, man. Actually, I'll show you what happens. Oh, I couldn't see. Oh, where? Where was the hit, man? No, it was not there. Uh huh. Q. Q. Is this guy? Yeah, I think it was that guy. They're all dressed in black, the hitmen. Obviously, like any good hitman should tarde. be. Kill. Yes. Who's gonna kill him? This guy. Look at him chase him. Oh, we got a bit of a rebel threat. He should be dead. Is this guy? No, he's dead. Told you that was that guy. So this is going to be pretty boring. I just got to do this for a couple of hundred people. Well, more like ten, but you get the point. Que necesita? Keep viewing them. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué it's pretty simple, really. Just click and you're done, really. Uh huh. I already hired that guy to be killed. Excelencia. Alright, let's wait up a bit, see how many of them die. Right now there's nine. Should be about seven after a couple of seconds after I kill them all. I think they have to exit work or whatever. No? Fine. Okay. Muy buena. Excelencia. What's gonna happen now? He's driving in his car. He's gonna get away. We have to wait until he gets away. Someone's joined the rebels. Four citizens have joined the rebels. How's our military going? Our oh, military's doing pretty well. Okay. And we're doing quite well fiscally as well. What? Four more criminals. Yes. Three. Okay. That should be two. Buenos días. There we go. One. Uh huh. Oh, just her left. Wherever she is at work. There she is. Calamity, President Day. Propaganda that is not ours. <gasps> Agents of Rebels have captured our TV station and are broadcasting a rise of value. I don't think. Shut up. I don't think anyone in Chopico will believe any of it, but we still have to act. What do you think? I was going to order early elections anyway. Who says I am a dictator? Oh. Yeah, let's use the army. The army is liberated to TV station. Fantastic. There's one remaining criminal. I think she's working in the army. She should be... There we go. She just got offed. Sometimes I feel like the whole world is conspiring to bring us down, Presidente. We dealt with the crime wave, but now the global economy is in chaos. I think it started with a butterfly flapping its wings in an American bank or something. All right, expect wildly fluctuating prices, hyperinflation, stock prices, brokers jumping off tall buildings. Antonio Lopez suggests that we counter these disturbing trends by developing a strong economy of our own. The Tropican dollar will become the new Swiss franc of the Caribbean. Or not. Build two new factories. Okay, so I think we can build... Industry. I think that's what they mean by factories. Um... Cannery. There we go. That does fish. Fantastic. 
So let's do something up here, like so. It's one factory. And let's go back to industry and let's build a let's build a lumber mill then. Right up here, yes. And then we're gonna have to go to food resources. Oh, we can have organic ranches now. Nice. Very, very futuristic. The logging camp here, and let's build another logging camp. Oh. Logging camp up here, and then let's get some roads going up here. There we go. That's all good. And let's just build some Teamsters offices while I'm um, at it as well. So infrastructure, Teamsters office, Teamsters office are like, oh, God. are those guys that carry around the can like the the fish to the cannery. That's what I wanted to say, the cannery or cannery. So they just take the fish from here to the cannery and then they take it back to the wharf to sell it off. So that's one factory built. This will be two now. Fantastic. And we're, we're going to export right industry course, goods. President. How many, what type of people do we need here? Oh, okay. I think we can improve productivity over here by doing this. Oh, we lost a fair bit of money then. Commodity price of cigars is dropped down, yada, yada, yada. The treasury is empty, Presidente. I know what we should do. Let's print some money. All the cool nations are doing it. <laughs> true, true. All right. Let's actually do it because I can't imagine there being much left in this um, game. Left, like, of this mission. There can't be too much left. Why is it lagging so much? Don't lag on me, game. All right, I'm going to have to end this episode and we'll see why it's lagging and...